everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm sitting here with my son. Say hi, son. Hello. So, we've just not long ago finished filming the video where my son opened the Mecha Godzilla Lego figure that I painted up for him. And it made he wanted to talk about the bootlegs. So, we've got this one that I made for him. So, we've set, we've discussed that in another video. And we also discussed this one. We talked about this one briefly in another video. So, I'll talk about what I think about it. Okay? Yeah. So, it's kind of based on the larger Lego figures. I think this is great. Mm -hmm. uh, I love this, I've got one of these for myself. So yeah, so you've got posable hands, the head moves up and down, the mouth opens up, there's even, I don't know if you can see it in there, if I can get the light to shine, there's a hole that you can plug stuff in there, I made my own custom atomic breath, I don't know if you've got that at hand, son. Um, I'll go get it. Okay, so while you're, while you're doing that, I'll just talk about this. So the detail is okay, you can't make it all out because the figure's quite dark. I think, this, I think it should have been painted in grey. Personally, so have you got the yep. custom? So you can open this up, and I made this out of just a basic Lego stick, and I put some bits on it. So if you put that in there, and you can plug it into the hole, you can do some decent displays on here. So you can be shooting out, or you can be shooting straight up like it does in the movie. So I quite like that, and because this is just a repaint, you can do the same with this. So I'm tempted to make the same thing, but in a different colour. Because I think he shows it yellow with his eyes. Yeah, so... Yeah, so I've got that. So those are the basic figures. They've also got the exact same figure. This one is that figure just painted. But I've got this figure but in a translucent orange. Like the with Super yellow. Godzilla? Yes, yeah, so it's basically the Super Godzilla from the King of the Monsters movie when he's irradiating radiation. It's the exact same figure. It looks great. If you set it on a light, it lights up. It's fantastic. We don't have a light at hand, so I can't show you. But it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, basic, same basic figure. So my son's got these on display fighting. And he's also, I got him this at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I was getting him these and I thought there's not enough kaijus out there. But they do have a large Lego figure of a gorilla. So I bought him this and it's basically, he it uses the King Kong fighting them. It's not meant to be King Kong. It's meant to be just a basic Lego figure of a gorilla. But it works as King Kong. So I reckon they're like 60 pence each. These things are great. Free shipping. So yeah, that's fantastic. They work in that. But they're not they're not the headline in this video, are they, son? No. The headline is, along with them, you get a bootleg King Ghidorah. And the figure, compared to the size of these, is massive. You just heard the squeak there while I was picking it up. So I'm just going to move all of these to the side. Because we actually do need the space for King Ghidorah. That's how big the figure is. So you built this by yourself, son. You didn't need any help, did you? I think there was only one piece you needed because help with because it was quite fiddly. Mm. No instructions came with this. That was my only complaint. But it was easy enough to figure out, wasn't it? Another complaint that you've got is there's only one tail. As we know, King Ghidorah That's has true. two tails. But as a bootleg, son, we can't ask for it. everything because like, there's no official one of these. And because there's no official one of these, I think it's fantastic that we've even got this. So enough talking about it without seeing it. Let's have a look at the King Ghidorah Lego figure. So this costs about six pounds. It's fantastic. But look at the size difference. So you've got your Godzilla there. You've got your King Ghidorah. The size difference is roughly like it is in the movie. Maybe a little out of touch. But it looks fantastic. So each piece is very movable. You can pose the heads. You can move the mouths. The wings move. They're very poseable. The, the, the legs are a bit squeaky. I'm going to have to fix that with some WD-40 I think. But my son's usually got these displayed on his shelf with his Godzilla shooting up some atomic breath, don't you, son? Mm -hmm. So I've got, it's usually something along those lines. Maybe he's missing and it's going past his head. But it does look quite good sitting on the shelf all Sunday. You don't get, there's no slots inside the mouths to maybe attach any lightning. But the heads themselves are really massive. Because look at the size. Just pop out that atomic and... But just look at the, the size difference in the head. So if I close that mouth, that entire head fits inside that mouth. That That's how small it is compared to that head. But the detail is great for a bootleg figure. It's fantastic. The, the wings are well put together. I thought they'd be quite flimsy and fall apart. But no, they're solid. The figure itself is pretty solid. The legs, I've got them. So you can set it on a Lego base and display it. Oh, someone's phone. Jump cut. Apologise about that, it was my mum trying to get hold of me, phoning my son's phone, so where we were talking about the detail in this figure, weren't we son? Mm -hmm. Or, I've lost, I've honestly lost my train of thought, that has honestly thrown me, I need to go track down my sister after fi filming this. So yeah, so I love this figure, I'm going to have to get one for myself son, I really do. Mm -hmm. 
I'm tempted to get two for myself and see if I can make a custom Mecha Gadir. But I'm not sure yet. It just depends when I next get spare money to do this because I love this figure. I think we're talking about the fact there's only one tail, weren't we? Yeah. The tail itself is probably the least, my least favourite part. It's kind of flimsy. This this part itself, but this bit's like rubber and this is like solid plastic. And so that's hard to get on. It's a nightmare to get on. So if that pops off, you're going to have a bit of a nightmare getting it back on. So I think I, I said to you I was going to glue that on for you, didn't I, son? Because mm -hmm. glue and Lego should never go together, but that's a goddamn nightmare. And it's bootleg Lego, so I don't think it counts. But the detail, like you've got the horns or spikes on Godiva's head. You've got over here, maybe you can have a little Lego figure riding Godiva. It's awesome. So yeah, you can easily make some great displays with this. My son wanted me to give my opinions on this. So that's my son's little bootleg kaiju set. It's awesome. You get these on AliExpress for really cheap. I highly recommend it. And if you want to talk about what you think of these, son, before I go, because you, you wanted me to talk about them, but what do you think of them? Well, I really like them. Um, I like the one you made. I like um, the King Kong with a well, gorilla. And I like the two Godzillas, but I really like the King Ghidorah too. Mecha Godzilla and the King Ghidorah are my favourites. Ah, oh, so you like the one that I made better than those ones? Mm, and I like King Ghidorah too. Nice. So the King Kong is just a basic gorilla, but it did come completely apart. It's like you can see the seam there. It was quite hard to put together. But once it was put together, it's solid. It's very light. You can tell it's not real Lego because it's really, really light. But it's a solid figure. You can easily do some Godzilla vs. King Kong mashups. So we did have a little Lego city built for me in it. But we needed space because my son's going to be doing some Minecraft and Bendy Night Machine sets, aren't you, son? Yeah, and videos. And we're going to do videos on them at some point. So is there anything else you want to talk about these sets before we go, son? Well, the King Kidora one, um, they bits, we didn't even know what to do then, did we? Yeah, these little lightning bits, because, or these little horns, because there was no instructions. Let me see if I can just pop a head off, make him get a good look. Here we go. So these bits, they just pop off. Right, so there was little holes there. So we had a little pile of these, and we didn't know what they were for. We couldn't figure out where to go, but then I noticed that there was holes in the head. And then I realised, oh, there for that. But also I loaded up a picture of what the toy is supposed to look like. So yeah, so it's pretty cool, and I like the fact that the heads do pop off, they pop back on, they're very poseable themselves, the heads. The necks do move quite a bit, they're very, and then there's, the neck moves, but then the head itself moves. Oh, that squeakiness is doing my head in, so I'm going to have to WD-40 that soon. Yep, so, yeah, it's really good for the price, I highly recommend it. I think that's all we've got to say about these sets, Tim, because I've got to go find your auntie in a minute. Yeah, and then we could do more videos. Yeah. Right, so Abde, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to have a good one.